guys welcome to our SLGIS assistant youtube channel hope you are enjoying with my previous lessons and sample data sets so definitely you should be gain knowledge about editing data representing data and more data analyzing tools so today i am going to explain about generating contours from a team model in my previous lesson i have explained about creating a team model using spot height data so you can review my previous videos and gain knowledge about team model this is the team model I have created earlier. First, I am going to create a raster file from this model. First, browse search tab. Then type as tint raster. Now double click on tint raster. And the input tint should be the tint which we have created earlier. And I'm going to change the method as natural neighbors and sampling distance as cell size. Then click OK. Now a raster file had been created with reference in team model. Here you can see the height areas shown in white color by decreasing the elevation the color will be dark then we can generate contours from this raster file browse search tab and type as create contour and click on contour 3d analyze tool then i'm going to choose the input raster as the raster file we have created by team model then the contour interval can be determined as your own wish i'm going to put this as one then click ok now you can see the contour has generated by referencing the raster file in high variated surface, there are lots of contours appear very nearly. In flat surface, there are a small amount of contours and they appear apart from each other. By following this procedure, you can generate any kind of contours with changing contour interval. For higher analyzing project, we can overlay these contours in ArcScene also. This is the ArcScene document. With my previous team model, I am going to add the contours. And first, we should set the base height to this contour layer also. Go to base height tab and click on plot in on a custom surface. Under the elevation from features tab, I am going to change the factor as 5. Then click apply, OK. Now the contour has a 3D model surface in our scene. We can classify the contours in our scene also. Go to properties tab. In symbology, browse, browse the quantities tab. And I am going to change the contour interval to 10 classes. You can change the number of classes and you can change the color rank from here. Then click apply, ok. Now you can create a 3D model by using generated contours. We can also add the raster model. And you can change the base heights as I explained earlier. And you can change the color ramp of this raster file also. To do that, go to classify tab and you can change the number of classes and you can change the color ramp from here. Then click apply, OK. Now you can see a better classified raster file from our scene. 
and you can overlay the contours for this raster file. Hope to explain about further analyzing using this kind of tin models and creating videos using 3D models. Please leave a comment regarding this lesson and your suggestion. Hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and share us.